Well, good morning. It's 6 19 a.m. and I'm finishing part one into two. I, get, I got cut off and um, went so far and then stopped. But anyway, what I was saying is um, we're talking about credit and credit is so you know important but to be in debt um, to get credit or to get a home um, is ridiculous <laughs> you, you need good credit and you don't want to be in debt when you get a home even if it's a small condo to uh, to manufacture to a home, a stick built home. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So, as I bail myself out over and over again, it becomes exhausting because you have no money left over for an emergency. Like if a water heater breaks, your stove, or your washing machine, which happened all in one month to me, uh, it, was, it was just amazing. So this last couple few months, I've had my only little girl, who's thirty nine, come home. And and we'll remain here until you know she's better, and um, and she has a boyfriend, you know, and so she she's happy. She talks to him all the time, and she's very happy, which is good. In the meantime, I have my stepdaughter having to move here from Colorado with her children and her husband and she's just staying here temporarily until um, uh, they can get a place and they have no credit <laughs> I can't co-sign for her because my credit is so good. so no I'm not using cards anymore and um, and I still have a car payment you now, insurance, and mortgage, and all that, which is very expensive. So anyway, um, there's a lot of stress there, and there's stress too. I mean, you know, it stresses the whole family because, you know, the place gets crowded. And I still have 2,464,000 square feet, and, or is it 2,545 square feet? I gotta make sure. All I know is it's a big damn house and I can't keep it up. Um, I have to have help doing it. Uh, my house has deteriorated um, enough where, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to have this surgery. Uh, this is the easy DF. And I go through the front. And they move everything aside. Uh, a thyroid, a parathyroid, a glands, muscles, and all that. And they have to get to the spine, which is connected to the brain. So, anyway, it takes a neurosurgeon slash orthopedic surgeon to do this procedure. Because they have to know how to reconnect the nerves. Because if they re don't reconnect the nerves, um, there can be problems with the body elsewhere. And right now, my issues are numbness, complete numbness. And I, and I drop things and I fall a lot. So, I know that um, I 
my life has taken on many different um, things. Uh, in the meanwhile, <laughs> um, you know, my youngest, um, you know, dropped out of school and that broke my heart. Uh, but he broke his own heart. He's ruining his future no matter what I do or what I say. He is not going to go back to school. Now, I saved up for college for these both these younger boys. And um, one of them who, you know, is um, 22 and then he'll be 23 in December, did beautifully. No problems. Went to college and is going to go for his BA and he just keeps on making himself, himself, make himself, um, who he is today. All my parenting, good or bad, he is who he is. His personality. He's a wonderful person. Where my other one is a wonderful person. I love him. And when he's not having an episode, because he inherited from his mother all the illnesses, um, he is the opposite of his brother. I call him night and day. And so he requires much more um, monitoring. <laughs> And understanding. So there's a lot of understanding going on. <laughs> um, so right now I have a house um, with my daughter, her two sons who I've raised since they were babies, my stepdaughter, and her little girls, which are totally precious, and her husband, who is totally nice. And my mate, who is is a good is a good person, and um, and we live a, a different kind of lifestyle <clears throat> in the marital end of things, and um, in the marital end of things. Um, we have a relationship that's kind of open. If he was to find someone that he was interested in, for instance, and he fell in love with this person, he would have to come to me and ask me, period, if this person is okay for him to see. Okay. It's okay, I guess. It's not that okay. It, it's a very painful process. And um, sometimes, sometimes, you know, a person gets a little worn out from all the stuff going on. And, and you know, it's not like it's just been going on now. It's been going on for years and years. But, you know, um, I found a friend and, um, a very nice person, a very nice person. And, you know, I've had several friends and all non-sexual and all of them, um, incredibly good people, you know. Um, they all have their own stories, <clears throat> which are their own, and, of course, you know, my present friend um, has his life over here and then his life with me. It's interesting. Um, he's a good friend and 
we connected, you know. Is it sexual? No. Um, but it is definitely something right now that helps me emotionally not be so emotionally needy of just one person. And I found it. Um, you know, um, that is a good thing. I rescue animals still, and um, <laughs> when there's one to rescue, or there's one that has to be fostered, or you know, whatever the circumstances are, um, so I do that. Um, my children are grown, and um, I still get a lot of flack from things that are unnecessary. Um, you know, you start thinking of things, and it's like, no, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> um, I find myself not wanting to, to argue with people, and I belong to a, to a specific side that likes to argue and battle, and they're very, they're good people, <laughs> you know. Um, I've learned a lot about them. I wanted to learn about them. Um, after an episode that happened uh, over a year ago, I was accused or slandered, let's put it in a way that it just devastated me. And anyway, um, I got past that and apologized profusely to the specific people that owned that site that I took it out on because of another situation. Now, I belong to many sites, you know, um, and every one of them are different and they present different things and gives different, feeds me different things as far as knowledge. Knowledge, I, I, I yearn for it. And um, so the vitamin B shots really help because I can retain um, where I wasn't retaining anymore and I was just plain giving up. You know what I mean? So, that is part of what's been going on with me for right now. My father's ashes would be scattered. I thought they'd already been scattered. Um, but anyway, I didn't go, get to go this whole summer because it's been wrapped up in, you know, let's plan for the surgery, let's, we can't because you're sick now, let's reschedule it, and it just goes on and on and on, and it's not really needless to say, my, I am not able to attend my own father's scattering of ashes. And it's a big deal to me. It's a very good deal. And, and the person that was married to my father is the most incredible person that I know. Incredible. I'll see you on part three. It's called The Sleepwalker.